So as you see, I gave this the name front page one dash 120 by 600 images only because that way when it shows up in my list uh, for editing, it'll be real clear what, what which one I'm talking about. This code, you just click in on the text once and it selects it all and you right click and hit copy or you can do the control key held down like a shift key and hit the C button and it'll copy and then you can use control V to paste or right click and say paste okay so let's see what editing will look like now I'm going to go right to the edit page and as you can see you can change the name the ID and the size are going to be fixed those you can't change the uh, size and now it's a got an ID number that's unique to you and you alone so you can recycle this ad and this code on any page that you want you can change which page is going to be on you can change whether it's going to be image ads only and um, of course if you change the size make sure it's going to fit the uh, the new location so you can change what kind of ad is going to be that's an interesting tip you can change the colors okay what palette you can even save your own custom palettes like say I wanted to save this as a new palette I could do so by hitting save as new palette I'm not going to because I'm not that crazy about this at the moment I'm going to probably alter this and get rid of that gray if I ever actually use this you can change the corner style the fonts not that they give you all that many fonts to choose from but I could go to times for instance and you can change whether to show the public service ads or just fill with a color or show some non Google ads from another URL you can remove a selected channel from it add a new channel in other words you can change the channels not like watching TV and then hit save the settings okay since made no changes but I'll hit that anyway now this is what the manage ads tab looks like right there in manage ads and of course if you're in manage ads and you want to make a new ad click on get ads and that will take you back to this so you can click AdSense for content and get started on a new ad well, let me just go back to my manager you see the manager lets me get my code again it lets me preview lets me edit my ad settings as you just saw me do and it also lets me hide now it's funny because as they explain in this little section here why can't I delete my ad units it must just be very complicated for them to manage the database and have you be deleting ad units once you've assigned a number that special number down here once that number has been assigned I don't think they want to recycle and use it again okay uh, so in, rather than have you delete your ad units they just let you edit them the same one as much as you want or hide it completely all right so um, this particular one uh, previewing it would be that kind of an ad got it let's go back to manage ads as you can see it's in a channel called front page remember now I can add up to five channels I can create 200 total channels and assign up to five of those that I've created to any one ad got it it tells me what kind of an ad it is whether it's image ad text only ad or a mix text and image my size remember the size can't be altered in the edit section neither can this number so those are the only thing two things you can't change that's the main reason why they have the hide suppose you decide to make one of those button sizes which to me are kinda of small um, I don't know when I'd use one and I'll say but that's me though but say I went made when I made one and found I didn't want it well rather than have to look at it every single time I can hit hide and then later when I want to see ones that I've hidden I can check this box up here and it will show me ones that I have hidden it will also show you inactive units ones that you've never used if you click this box I suppose after a while if status remains inactive in other words it's never actually been pasted into a site that they will start disappearing or you can make them disappear 
Well, this allows you to show just the inactive units in case you're wondering which ones you've created that you haven't assigned to anything and you want to use them. So you want to go get the code over here, okay? And uh, again, you click on the code and it takes you to the code page. Click once, it selects it all, right click and hit copy. And you can then, you've copied it and you can paste it into your website anywhere that you want. You can use cascading style sheets and div tags like divs with a class, uh, like class equals Google AdSense, for instance, and have that be um, a way of assigning a centered uh, command, you know, a centered attribute to the whole thing so that it shows up instead of all left, uh, left justified in your column that it shows up centered in your column if you've put it in a sidebar, which obviously this tall thing would be a sidebar type of an item. So that gets you into the manage, and now, so now you've seen the types of things that can be edited, how to get into the editor through the manager, which again is right there, manage ads, and these are the things that they let you edit. Okay, well I hope that's helpful and that you'll take this and run with it. One thing to really read about and give a good amount of thought to is this whole thing of channels and things that you can do with them. They, if you've assigned them very cleverly, you can really use them for your reporting to make your reporting very powerful and easy to see which types of ads are giving you the best results. Um, for instance, I could create a channel that I call uh, left center above fold and that would get me any there we go so now I've made that so say I was always going to put this on the front page and the left center above the fold meaning right about in this location above the fold meaning I don't have to scroll well in this case for this particular page it would mean right in this area where I haven't had to scroll down okay no scrolling that would be left center above the fold so that would tell me that any ads, you know, what the performance has been like for ads I've placed in that position on the page. So see how that works? So hopefully you'll make that into a handy way of doing things. And as you see now, the channels, it's listed, I have two, front page and left center above fold as my channels for this particular ad. Now that will show up in my reporting later on under reports, which of course I don't have any ads running at the moment, so my reports are going to be uh, rather non-existent. But if you are in reports, it starts showing you the channels. This ever loads. <laughs> and there is no data available yet, as I see. But, uh, but you'll definitely see how, how this is going to give you a bunch, of, a bunch more results in the report section. And this report section becomes very important in your determining which ad positions are doing the best for you, and so what kinds of habits to repeat. Okay, well, I hope that's really helpful and that you get going with the AdSense ads, make some money off of the websites that are languishing, not necessarily making a whole lot of money, or at least makes you some additional money um, if you've got some good commercial websites that are already uh, optimized in various ways towards making money. I don't recommend you ever use AdSense ads on a sales page where the only link you want on that sales page is a buy button. Okay, so I strongly recommend never use this on sales pages. But if it's on your blog or your information pages or a review page, maybe a page you've created to uh, do reviews of products, and that can have some links to products you're selling perhaps, eh, go ahead and put them on that. You make a little extra money if people aren't buying but are just in browsing mode because they'll click on your AdSense links to shop. Okay. All right. Well, again, I hope that's very helpful and uh, take, uh, take a gander at this AdSense thing and determine whether you're going to be able to make use out of it.